folks, Bo to Bob here. And my last video, I told you that I broke my tractor, Bo Cephas. My, that's the name I gave my tractor, Bo Cephas. Um, my father's um, tractor, uh, it's named Hank, and it's named after Hank Williams Sr., the country music legend. I got the idea from his tractor being named Hank. So that's how I gave my tractor my name. Bo Cephas, and Bo Cephas, um, I was out working him a little bit hard the other day, got a stick jammed up into a, into the uh, cover that covers the uh, universal joint that goes into the front axle differential, and that stick jammed up into the seal that keeps the oil inside the axle housing and so there you go if you didn't see it go back and look at video 131 and uh, if you want to see my dad's tractor i'll put the number of the video down here below me and uh, you can go back and look at hank and see what who, who hank is so well let me show you what i got okay What we're going to do, take and knock a hole in the seal, like I was instructed. And if this don't work, he gave me his other ideas. I thought that was plastic, but it's definitely uh, steel. So what we're going to do is, because that's not working, we're going to drill a hole in it. And we'll see what that does. That's some hard metal, folks. I don't know what they uh, made that out of. There we got a hole. Now let's try the puller. There's still a little bit of oil in there. So we got a hold of it. Oh my goodness, see how easy that came out. Oh my goodness. Here I was worried about it. Look at all that smoke coming out of there, folks. That is some hard steel. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to wipe this grit out towards the outside of the case. I don't wanna push it back in. I don't know if you can see those ball bearings up in there. That's pretty cool. My, the mechanic that I talked to about this told me he's worked on a lot of Kubota BXs. And when I explained the problem I had and what happened to my tractor, he said in all his years of working on Kubota BX tractors, he has never heard of this issue. You never heard of a stick getting jammed up in there and taking out this seal. And he was pretty impressed with my uh, ability to uh, break the BX. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move you. I got some brake cleaner, but I'm going to move you so I don't get my phone all covered with solvents. Using a clean rag. Getting in there and cleaning and wiping that grime out. 
I have everything prepped. This is my installation tool. Piece of old PVC pipe I had laying around. The outside diameter of the seal is 2.8, I'm sorry, two and one eighth inches. And the outside diameter of this is one and seven eighths. So it's a quarter inch smaller. I, uh, my mechanic friend told me to put plumber's um, dope onto the outside of the seal. And don't you know, I forgot to pick that up today. So what I used instead, um, when I worked in a machine shop as a young 16 year old, the uh, guy I worked for, he would use Loctite and whenever he would bore an engine out and put sleeves in it, he would use Loctite to um, act as a lubricant and as a sealant to, to uh, hold the uh, engine sleeve in place. I don't know if that's an industry standard, but that's what he did. And so I'm going to give that a try today. That'll be on my to-do list. That's flush in there. I cannot um, distinguish between the, uh, let's take you up for a closer look. That's right in there. All right. I just finished putting the uh, new seal in, and now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, service the front axle. And what you do is you remove this bolt right here. It's an air vent. And then um, remove that and, of course, drain it into an oil pan. Now I got that back on and tight. Let me double check that though. Let me grab the wrench. So what I did is I got some Kubota gear oil, gear lubricant, 80W90, and I uh, opened it, it's sealed, and then I cut the top off. And here's the cool thing here. You could just let that drain in there like this. So I'm gonna go around to the other side and start the other side. So this is the uh, where you most people will put their oil in here, in this hole right here. But um, it's faster just to put it right into the differential through the uh, the air vent. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll put the last. Let me uh, go ahead and start that while we're talking about it. And there's a little bit on the stick, but not much. All right. This bolt here has a, a washer on it with a rubber gasket. You want to make sure you have the bolt with the rubber gasket. Also, this one down here, the drain has the same thing. We're going to put them on and tighten them up. I'll do the same to the other side. And there's no oil leak. Now, the wetness that you can see, that's the oil I put on there. Focus. The oil I placed on there to lubricate it going in. And then uh, that's it. So now we need to put the shaft back on. We'll cover this up because I don't know what this will do to it. It's soap. 
industrial strength soap. But we're gonna hose that down. Put the pin in. Once I got the pin in, I put the washer on, then a cotter pin, and uh, there it's done. So the last thing I need to do, uh, just the rubber part. It was actually um, between the shaft and the steel. And uh, so there you go. Let me get a wrench for that. I have the uh, seal back in. I have the oil back into the uh, differential case. The oil is not leaking out of any of the seals, so that's a good sign. I put the uh, propeller shaft or drive shaft, whatever Kubota calls it, back on. Got that all tightened up, put the cover back on, tightened that up. I wanna thank you all for stopping by watching me work on my uh, Kubota BX1850. And I'm gonna get on out of here, wrap this thing up. You know what to do, smash that like button, subscribe, share this video with a friend, and comment down below. If you see something I could have done differently, tell me down below. Be nice about it. But, you know, if, if uh, I can learn from your experience, I appreciate that. And that's what this is all about. Uh, give and take on both sides. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Cheers. Stop. Record.